During the years, we've seen the outsourcing industry evolving. In the 90s, we saw that IT software became one of the biggest outsourcing industry in the world, going into hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars. After IT boom and IT outsourcing came the BPO, call center, the international and domestic call center industry, where organizations thought that the call center piece is not uh, something which is of their core functions and they wanted to outsource. And then again, it went into hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars. And industry uh, still is flourishing and both of these industries are now uh, form, of, form the very pillars of the outsourcing industry globally. So there is one industry which hasn't changed over the last 50 years and that industry is commercial real estate industry. Now is the time when commercial real estate, what it used to be before, has changed. And now is the time for commercial real estate 2.0. It's a new version of commercial real estate where offices are being converted into hospitality. Offices uh, which were considered only just real estate and fit outs are now considered to be the very engine of productivity, very engine of employees motivation. So why is it really becoming important to uh, focus on these areas? One, that real estate People are realizing, organizations are realizing that real estate is not one of their core functions. There are organizations who are better, who are better equipped at doing everything when it comes to real estate, when it comes to commercial real estate, when it comes to offices. Because offices today are not just offices. Offices is a function of real estate, fit outs, services, value added services, the life you put into that space so that the entire vibration of that space becomes positive. It gives a happy environment to people working in that space. That's what the commercial real estate 2.0 is about. So look at the underlying problems of organizations today. One, that when they go out in the market to look for real estate, they have to contact brokers to find the right place. Second, they have to forecast the right size. What's the right size? They can be conservative or optimistic about what size of office space they want to take, but they can still go wrong. They may not grow or they may outgrow. Those problems are there. Then, it is a problem to invest in fit-outs. Now, why should an organization invest in fit-outs when they can invest that same money in their own business and create far better returns on the same money? After all, it is the ROI that is function. Fourth, Manpower is, become, is becoming distributed. So if you look at manpower today is not at just one place. It is distributed across geographies. So essentially, it is essential for organizations to come on a platform rather than choose just one geography and make that geography their place. For an organization which runs in a primitive way, would typically come and establish their office at one place and then struggle with manpower. Now in a new era, an organization would come in a distributed model and say, hey, I'm on a platform, I don't, need, I don't need to sign a lease with, with, with a traditional landlord. I'm on a platform of a serviced office operator and I can have this manpower distributed the way I want in any geography that I want. And that's how it is creating a far greater impact on the kind of employees that they want to need, the productivity of those employees because they're closer to their family. Where in the other case, these employees would have to relocate themselves and come to the workplace where uh, the headquarters are. But today, the model is distributed model. So I think serviced offices are really, really resolving all of these inherent problems. Now, look at the other problems that the global organizations or any organizations are going through is uh, the management of uh, the space, dealing with multiple vendors, dealing with how that space is really inculcating the values and culture that em those employees need. So those are some other problems. The overall uh, angle of services and with operators understanding the micro market dynamics, culture economics of that particular market has become really important factors why an organization is now choosing commercial real estate 2.0 to be a very important aspect within their portfolio. They've started to understand that real estate is not their core function. There are guys who can manage it much, much better than what they could do and hence this is what you will see the era of outsourcing in the next 10 years is going to be the commercial real estate. Commercial real estate 2.0, which we also call as serviced office, co-working, flexible office spaces, agile office spaces, is going to change the way commercial real estate has ever functioned.